Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. Ever since turning, I've started using this gouge right here, this Harbor Freight, and I've used this for just about everything from making little curves on the spindles and everything from bowls and apparently that is incorrect you're not supposed to be using this for bowls because it'll catch funny or something like that it's got smaller tine in there so today I'm gonna change that up and I'm gonna actually make my own bowl gouge so we're gonna see how it goes I've got some steel ready and it's already marked out and the only things that I really need are a grinder an angle grinder and then a bench grinder for actually sharpening it but I think you can get away with the sharpening process with some stones so today we're gonna make a bowl gouge so I don't have to use the roughing gouge to make these anymore so here is my piece of steel that I will be using and as you can see I've already got a little X on there that is going to be my main gouge portion and you can see that it is roughly about six and a half inches and I have another mark further down this way inside the vise that is at about 10 inches so it'll have about a four inch tain that's actually going to go into a piece of wood that we're turning so for right now I have got this grinding disc and I'm just gonna start right here in the middle and just grind away so for my first couple passes I want to do a light pass just so that I can get a basic mark of where I want to be and then I don't want to go past here so I'm gonna start shallow and then it's gonna end up deeper down on this end So here is our current shape that we're at. As you can see, it is kind of sliding upwards, which is okay, that's expected to happen right off the bat. And then you just kinda gotta work the grinding disc back down to get your actual little area for all the shavings and stuff to come out. And then we'll end up working on the bevel around the outside. But as you can see, it's just a slow process and Lots of sparks. So there we are. Here is the hollowed out section that I'm going to be leaving it as. As you can see, it's still pretty thick on the bottom, and that's okay because that's where I'm going to be grinding some off for the beveled edge. It's got to go on the bottom to actually do the cutting area. So I got a bevel on this side on the bottom and on this side so I wanted to leave a little bit of extra stuff on there and I think that um, I would end up taking a file to actually get the bevel shape so after reading up on the bowl gouge angles that you want to have you want to have somewhere between a 40 and a 60 degree bevel on the front so I just got my file out here and I'm just going to work it around until I get the, the round shape on it. After I've gotten it fairly roughed out. I've got some 60 grit sandpaper that I'm rolling up and I'm just going in the inside and trying to get that smoothed up a little bit. Trying to get any burrs off of there. You guys can use a dowel if you want I, I guess. But this is pretty tight and rolling this up seems to do fairly well. 
So I'm just kind of touching up on on this, trying to get it as smooth as possible. I guess this would be like the back side of a chisel where you want it flattened out. So I've gotten my shape cleaned up pretty well on the inside and I've got a decent bevel all the way around. This is not the final bevel here. I've still got to put it on the bench grinder after I build a jig for it. But right now we're going to go ahead and heat treat it. It's close enough to being the correct bevel. So I'm going to go ahead and heat treat it. You can do heat treating in a forge or something like that. But because this is so small, I'm just going to go ahead and use my propane torch right here and heat it up to a nice red color and then I'm going to dip it into my water bucket outside. Right now it is turning the different colors. It's getting really dark up here on the tip and as you can see there's a straw color coming through the metal right here. So this is just different colors that happen while you're heating up the metal. What we're going to do is get it to a red temperature, go dunk it in the water, and then I'm going to actually go put it in the oven at about 375 for about an hour and a half or so and let it temper back out. What I'm doing right now is hardening the steel and then the way you can test it is actually with a file and it should skate across the metal and we'll test that out here in just a minute. It's hard to see right now that the color is the cherry red, but if I put it in the dark, you can see that the color is red now. And so what we're going to be doing is going to dump it into the water here in just a minute. I got to be quick about it to quench it. And then we'll go ahead and move on with putting it into the oven to temper it. So we just came back from dunking it in the water and now I can test it to see if it's hardened or not. And the way you do it is you take a file and you just run over your edge. And it's not grabbing, which is good. On soft metal, the file will actually grab and you can feel it catch and this is just kind of going right over the edge. So that means that it is hardened. So now that we know that the end of it is hardened, I got it about cherry red all the way down to about here and then dunked it into the water. So now the whole entire end is hardened so now I can go ahead and do the tempering process. Now for that, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the oven at about 375 degrees for about an hour and a half and what I'm looking for is a nice straw color coming through all of the metal and that is going to be the, the result from tempering your metal. Now I'm not going to make you sit here and watch the whole process. I'm going to leave this first part right here. This is a basic of just shaping out your, your bowl gouge. This is very simple to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do the tempering and then in the next video I'm going to actually show you guys how to make the sharpening jig. We're going to go ahead and get the final shape on this and actually put it on the lathe to see how well it does and see if in fact you can make your own bowl gouge. This piece of metal only costs about $15 so we're going to see how well it works and then over time I'll see how long it holds an edge. So thanks for joining me today on the first part of forming out your bowl gouge and come back for the next video later this weekend on actually making the jig for sharpening and actually see this test run. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and you know, like I said, check back later. I'll see you guys on the next video.